Hello and well, welcome back for another video. So I hope everybody is doing fine there and it's great to be back. Today, we're gonna talk about basic. We're gonna go back to basic with the concatenation. This is an important parameter because it has a great impact, not only on the image the quality, but also on the scan time. So with that said, stay tuned and I will show you some theory and directly at the scan and practical part. For those who've been here before, thanks for coming back. And for those who are new, my name is back again. I'm a number right radiographer in my channel. I'm covering things from basic to advanced summary topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. We're gonna go directly to the scan and I will show you some things there. And uh, with that said, let's go. All right, we are currently at the uh, 3T, but it doesn't matter. Concatenations works across with the field strength, also across the vendors. So I'm just going to show you a simple sequence here. We go into Siemens tree. I'm going to show you a 2D turbo spin echo. Let's choose a T2 weighted. So it's be easy for me to show you. Let's go to edit mode and then we will go to T2. I just open this sequence right there. And let's check this se sequence from, from the Siemens tree. The TR is 6000 and they have one concatenation. So what does this mean? Okay, so let's go like this. So you see here now with this TR, with how the sequence is, is uh, setting up, optimized, you can see there's a space here. There's a little space here from 4730 to 6000. A little sp space there, which means that you can also add on a little bit of slices. So with the 27 slices, you have a little bit room before you reach the top of the TR. So this is the practical, but let's just check a little bit for the theory. For the theory part, I just found this nice figure at amorashot.com. It's a nice explanation with this figure. So you can see here a number of acquisitional concats. With the TR, you have to uh, have room for the number of slices you want. In this example here, you have, you have place for, with this TR, four slices. What he shows here is that he divided the TR in two which means now you have place for two slices in each TR. Instead of a very long TR, you now have a shorter one, which means two TRs for being able to have a room for four slices. So what this means is that one concatenation is one TR, two concatenations means that you double your TR and then you sample two or three or four and so on and so on. So why is this needed in practice? So let's go back to the scanner. In practice, you have now, let's say I, I choose 4,730, which means now I only have room for 27 slices. You can see it's maxed out, 27 slices. And let's say I want to add up to 30 slices. So I push the hunter buttons, look now. So for me being able to go from 27 slices to 30 slices, the scanner says now, hey, you need to increase your TR for being able to do so going from 4,700 to now 5,250. It's okay for T2 because you're still in the weighted of, of the, the T2. So remember that the range of the TR is also important for the weight that you wanted to have. But also remember increasing from this TR to a higher TR also increases the scan time. But let's now say that we increase this to 35 slices. And suddenly now I have to go up to 6,120 TR. Okay, what can we do now? Like I said in the figure, this is a long tier of 6,000 for being able to have 35 slices. So let's increase the, the concats. Look at the scan time. We're going from two minutes to now five minutes. So we, we double the, the time, right? For one TR, and now we are doubling it. So we are having an acquisition of 6,120, one TR, and then another TR, which is the same scan time, it double ups. But what can we do about this? So look now. Suddenly now we have, of course, room for double the slices, 35 times 2, 70, of course, because now you have two cool cuts. And now we are also able to either increase the slices and use the whole TR a little bit if you just want to have a few slices, or you can decrease the TR. If you decrease this to 3,150, you will save scan time, and at the same time still be in the range of a T2 weighted sequence. 
If you look at the scan time, 5 minutes and 30, and now we suddenly at 3 minutes. So we decrease the TR because we didn't, we don't want to use the whole TR. We have enough slices and we now increase, decrease the, the scan time. But what's the purpose of this? Because it didn't give it any purpose, right? What, what I just show you now, because with 35 slices, you had 6,000 TR. It's the same, but now we have 35 slices and 3,150 uh, TR. The scan time is almost the same. There's also one thing to remember that the concatenation does not affect resolution. It's important to have in mind. The thing about concats is you can use this also like this. Distance factor is very important when it comes to concatenations. So I have 30% distance factor now out of 4 millimeter slice thickness. This means that 30% is 1.2 millimeter gap. 1.2 millimeter gap is a missing part between each slice. This is a gap between each of my slices. So if you want to image a small structure, two more, which is very small, should have, or at least have zero gap because you don't want to miss anything in between. Or if you want to have an image uh, of a long bone or a big structure, you can have a little bit of gap, which is okay because you have to cover a lot, right? So this is one thing you can use it. But remember, if you have a zero distance factor, you also need to have two concats or more. If not, you will struggle with crosstalk the fact. So what is crosstalk? Let's check this out. So crosstalk, you can find more information um, regarding this topic at amorightquestions.com. How can we avoid this? So the ideal slice profile, like this nice peak, right? Slice one, slice two, slice three. That's not the real deal. That's not how it happens in the real life. The actual slice profile is takes time you know, to come up takes time to go down, another slice is again, another slice is a little bit tail here, which crossing between slice one, slice two, which give you this crosstalk artifact. Simple solution for avoiding this is to have 10 or at least 20% of slice distance factor to avoid this because then you will shift the, the tail away from each other. So you want to get this crosstalk artifact. Or if you have two concatenations, that means that you are now sampling with the first concast, you're sampling, let's say, slice two, slice four, six. You're jumping in between because the second concast will then sample what's in between so that the tail won't touch each other and you won't get this artifact. So that's why concats, if you're using zero distance, at least have two or three concats. If you're not doing this, so let's check this out. If you have a TR of 4,450, and this is a half of it, we have one concat, zero distance, two concat, zero distance. Look at the fluid. You get this kind of artifact. Okay, let's go back to the scan. It's just exactly like I told you, right? Zero distance, two concats, scan time increases, but now you can decrease the TR to get the, the scan time low. And you still have the T to weigh this, so don't worry about that. You're within that range. So now you won't suffer from crosstalk artifact. Okay, so let's check another sequence. Let's check our T1 tube spin echo. So we go to edit mode. Let's find a tube spin echo right there. Okay. You can see with the two cold cats, uh, we now have a TR of 580, but I can lower it to 306, but that would be too low within the T1 contrast, right? You also have to remember what field strength you have. T1 weighted, T2, stir, PD, they all have different ranges. So we remember that. Okay, so let's take this T1. And let's just say we go to one concats and let's say that you have now 589. With 589, you're maxing it out. You cannot have more slices. 27 slices is the maximum. We want to increase this to 50. We want to, to have a big coverage. So what happens now? For me, for being able to have 50 slices, it says to me now, hey, you have to increase your TR from almost 600 to I find this a little bit too high, so I wanted to lower it a little bit. So imagine this, if this is was a 1.5 touch, it would be way too high, right? So we need to lower the TR, but we don't want to lose the slices. So just accept this one, and we're going to do some magic here. What we do now is that we have 50 slices as we wanted, and we now add it to two concats. So you just see the time increases, double up, because now you're running the TR twice. So of course it will double. But now look, we have 50 slices 
But with the two cold cats, it means that I can have a hundred slices, right? You double up. But instead of using more slices, because I'm happy with 50 slices, I can now lower the TR. If you lower the TR now, you will save the scan time from 5 minutes and 40 to around 3 minutes. So I stay around, let's say in this case, 600. So I lower the scan time again. I'm using, uh, utilizing almost, almost all the slices I got available. I got 4 more slices available, but let's say I just want to 50. Um, you can see here. You can have 30% or zero without the crosstalk. You now have almost the same scan time, but more coverages. So this is another way you can use the concat zone. It's an important parameter. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I mean, concatenation is a difficult topic, right? So the theory and the practical can be a little bit difficult. I hope with this video will better give you a better understanding regarding this topic. Before we close up, I just want to ask you, concatenations, is this a parameter which you think about whenever you're optimizing a sequence? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. Do not forget to push the like button if you like this video and hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so we get a big link whenever new things from me are coming up. Bye, we'll catch up with you in the next video. Peace out.